This is Bob Gersh with East Coast Capital. And today's topic is what you need to know about saving for a home in 2024. What you need to know about saving for a home in 2024. If you're planning to buy a home, knowing what to budget for and how to save may sound intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. One way to ease those concerns is to make sure you understand some of the costs you may encounter up front. And to do that, always turn to trusted real estate professionals. They can help you set a plan and take a strategic look at your budget and your process before you even get started. Here are just a few things experts say you should be thinking about. One, down payment. Saving for your down payment is likely top of mind as you set out to buy a home. But do you know how much you'll need? While every buyer situation is different, there's a common misconception that putting 20% of the purchase price down is required. An article from the Mortgage Reports explains why that's not always the case. The idea that you have to put 20% down on a house is a myth. The right amount depends on your current savings and your home buying goals. To understand your options, partner with trusted real estate professionals to go over the various loan types, down payment assistance programs, and what each one requires. The more you know ahead of time, the easier the process will be. Two, closing costs. Make sure you also budget for closing costs, which are a collection of fees and payments made to various parties involved in your transaction. Bankrate explains, Closing costs are the fees you pay when finalizing a real estate transaction, whether you're refinancing a mortgage or buying a new home. These costs can amount to two to 5% of the mortgage. So it's important to be financially prepared for this expense. The best way to understand what you'll need at the closing table is to work with a trusted lender. They can provide you with answers to questions you might have. Three, earnest money deposit. If you want to cover all your bases, you can also consider saving for an earnest money deposit. An earnest money deposit is money you pay as a show of good faith when you make an offer on a house. According to Realtor.com, it's usually between 1% and 2% of the total home price. This deposit works like a credit. It's not an added expense. It's paying a portion of your costs up front. You're using some of the money you've already saved for your purchase to show the seller you're committed and serious about buying their house. Realtor.com describes how it works as part of your sale. It tells the real estate seller you're in earnest as a buyer. Assuming all goes well and the buyer's good faith offer is accepted by the seller, the earnest money funds go towards the down payment and closing costs. In effect, earnest money is just paying more of the down payment and closing costs up front. Keep in mind, earnest money deposit isn't required and it doesn't guarantee your offer will be accepted. It's important to work with a real estate advisor to understand what's best for your situation and any specific requirements in your local area. They'll advise you on what moves you should make so you can make the best possible decisions throughout the buying process. Bottom line, when buying a home, being informed about what to save for is key. This connects, you'll have an expert on your side to answer any questions you have along the way. This is Bob Gersh with East Coast Capital. This blog, video, and podcast Monday through Friday at AskBobGersh.com. If you like what you've just heard, please subscribe to our site. If you have any questions, best way to reach me is through AskBobGersh.com. If you do see me in the local coffee shop, tap me on the shoulder. Let's sit down and have coffee and talk about whatever you'd like to talk about. Have a great rest of the day, great rest of the week. Enjoy life. Until next time, thank you.